Let's talk about the un-American part. In the early 50s, you were, you had to testify before the House of, of Un-American Activities, and this was recalled to me in your recent book on Russia because you made a number of comparisons, which I thought were very interesting ones, um, between attitudes, and you didn't make them ideologically. You were talking about attitudes. This is social attitudes towards freedom and so on. Um, how have you come through that? Do you find that that still is very much a part of your, of your experience? Well, I don't think about it much uh, anymore. I, it simply taught me what I knew already, which is that uh, there is nothing the politician won't stoop to if it means some publicity for him or some power. That's the nature of power, and people do whatever they can to achieve power and keep it. They uh, went after me, primarily because I was well-known and I would get them a headline in the newspaper, which is exactly what happened. Uh, even at the time, I, I felt a little bit cynical about the whole thing. <clears throat> it was a game that they were playing with me. Uh, I thought then, in the so-called liberal times of Kennedy, and that this whole thing had not ended, that we really hadn't faced it down and run it to earth. And this new generation is uh, finding that the, uh, the repressive thing in human nature hasn't gone away. And in this system, but it's not just in this system. They're, they're mistaken if they think that. You don't think then with some, as, as there seems to be a lot of writing now about it, that it's inherent in the American system. It's inherent in every political system. The Russians do it, the Cubans do it. A political system can't tolerate real opposition, uh, and especially in the 20th century. It's, it's a very difficult thing for it to successfully do. At that time, and in the early 50s, jumping back again, you say you were cynical about it. Um, did you never feel that they were setting out to destroy you, to destroy you, Arthur Miller? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I knew they couldn't do that because uh, if I can have a piece of paper and pencil, unless they shoot me, which they weren't yet threatening to do, uh, they couldn't destroy me because I could write plays and they can't. Uh, not everybody has that reassurance, and indeed they did destroy a lot of people who didn't have that in reserve or they, anything like it. You felt that that was your, your survival, basically? Yeah. Uh, I was kind of proud of my art, that uh, if I had to go to some other country or wherever I had to be, I would go on writing, and writing against everything they believed. And nothing could stop me from doing that. Did you ever seriously consider leaving the country? I never did, no. I would find it very difficult living in another country. Uh, it's hard to believe, but I, I love this country. And it feeds me. It, uh, I love to hear the language. And uh, I'm at home, most, with, most at home with Americans.